Hi, this is Connie AZ21. We're going to show you how I mount my diamond painting. And I have a wooden frame, it's by plaid, it's a 10 by 10, it's wood, and I love painter's tape. Put this on here so it will be up off my table. So we're going to start by flipping it over. It's all ready to go, and I am going to paint this black. And I just put a little down each side. Don't paint the whole thing. I do the edges and about an inch in on the top. A little cup I tape to the back allows me to rotate it. All right, I'm going to come back in a minute when I get this all dry. Okay, I've got my board ready, it's painted, sides are all good. Now the next step is to prepare what I'm going to put on it. And we're going to do the kitty today. So, first thing I have to do is cut around the edge. Cut as close as you can, but not to where you hurt the diamonds. I'm going to get close enough to where you don't leave any of the white. So we got it all cut out, ready to go. The next thing we need to do is put it on the board. So I use Elmer's glue all. I have tried a spray adhesive on one of my diamond paintings and after about three weeks it just came loose. So not a good idea, or at least not for what I'm doing. So what I do, I've got it placed right where I want it. So I lift her up and I'm going to put my spot. Put a little line of glue right down the middle. <clears throat> and take an old brush and spread it out. Lay it back down and press it in. And that gives me my starting. Now what I'm going to do is lift this up a bit and just continue doing the same thing until I get it all covered. Spread it around because I don't want any big fat thick globs. Okay, so I've got it all glued down, <clears throat> and I always check my edges. So that around here so I can see. That looks good. And make sure you get the glue as close to the edge as you can without making it gush out the sides. So now I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll put the finishing touches on it. Okay, we're back, and we're ready to complete this project. I have some cords. It's thin, it's very flexible, and I'm going to run a thin bead along the very edge. Start at the bottom, and I run it across the edge, turn, and we're going to do the same thing down this edge. gives it its just a little bit of a rounded edge right there. Got the last corner here. Round we go. 
one thing you don't want to do with this is you don't want to stretch it very far. You just want to place it gently, press it in, give it a quick snip, just a tad of glue on that top piece. I don't want any fraying. Then we have one final step, and that is to go around my edges just press it in. Use a metal ruler and press it inward and that straightens those out. It's, it's kind of hard to get them all straight when you put them in there. Give it a little press. Poof, like that. Now, there we go. This is now complete and ready to hang. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've subscribed, thank you so very, very much. I do appreciate it. More to come.